All right. Well, now we're going to we're going to talk about deals. And remember, I started off with, well, you can do things the easy way or you can do things the hard way. And we're going to talk about the easy way to get a lot of deals. Now, you know that there's a lot of competition out there in the world, that thing called competition, right? And certainly there's a lot of people out there knowing that when you do certain marketing, you do get certain results. And there's always, look, think about how many houses there are in the town that you're in, in the city that you're in, in the county that you're in, in the state that you're in. So there's lots of opportunities because people die, people get divorced, people get transferred, people lose jobs. There's just all kinds of medical issues that come up. And as a result, there's always an opportunity to purchase some real estate when people are in a situation or they just get sick and tired of the property. They've got another property. They inherit a property. They get put in a nursing home. There's just lots of reasons that people need to offload real estate. So one thing that you got to do is you got to stay active in the marketplace. Now you've heard me talk on other lessons about getting connected with the local community, the low hanging fruit, definitely. And I had uh, a, one agent bring me another broker today over the phone. We had a conversation and it was about, listen, we have all kinds of people that cannot qualify for loans. And I explained our program and I said exactly how we could work together. And she was very excited about that. So get connected with local real estate agents and also get connected with mortgage brokers because they definitely have people that they can't qualify for loans. And that's another way that we find buyers for our properties. But what I'm talking about today is sellers. I'm talking about people that want to get rid of their property. And agents many times have what's called pocket listings where the sellers won't list the property, but the sellers say, listen, I'll pay you a commission if you bring me a buyer, but I'm not going to list it. I'm not going to go through the pain and suffering of the MLS and having all kinds of people come through my house. Uh, you know, some people are COVID conscious as well. So they don't want all these strangers with all their germs coming into their house. So they just, you know, resist even listing the property. And, you know, I've done several deals because of that fact this year. Now think about agents and think about the connections that they have. They know somebody's aunt, uncle, brother, cousin, a, a seller that simply won't list. Maybe it's a hoarder house, whatever the case may be, they can bring those deals to you. Now, what I always recommend is you do a presentation to those sellers and you're able to get a deal. But today we're continuing to talk about finding deals, finding deals the easy way, not the hard way. So certainly connecting with real estate agents, finding what's called off market deals is an awesome way to be able to buy. Another is to say to agents, look, when, before you actually put that property that you're about to list, whatever, whenever that is, always give me a call. I'll give you an offer 24 hours before you put it into the MLS. So they give you a call, boom, you go over, you take a look at the property, you make a presentation to the seller, you get down to the bottom line of my cost to sell worksheet. I invented that back in 2003. It's an awesome thing. And because of that, we've been able to buy so many properties and I teach that to my clients. Well, what's cool about that is now you've got a number to work with. If that number works great, you actually buy the property. If that number doesn't work great, we can now increase our offer to the seller because the seller is going to allow you to may, maybe take over their existing financing on the property or carry back financing. So there's always an opportunity there. And another thing that we do is when we're in neighborhoods, let's say I go visit with that particular seller because they responded to other marketing or because an agent sent me there or because a mortgage broker sent me there or a friend sent me there, whatever it is, whatever caused me to be in that neighborhood, always take your door hangers with you because there's other sellers in that neighborhood. There's other people that might sell their home. And in fact, the other thing we've got is the fact that we buy houses, but we also sell houses, right? So 
So regardless of who's in that house and who they might know, there's an opportunity and we even give them an incentive to give us a call. So that's one of our, our little hidden secret marketing uh, programs. And in addition to that, we send postcards to certain populations, such as people we know that someone has passed away in the family. We, we recognize that we send them a nice letter and we let them know if there's any real estate involved, we'd be more than happy to consult with them for free. And if, if we're able to buy the home, we have some additional bonuses and benefits that we can give them as well. So again, incentives, looking for certain populations, looking, looking for certain types of sellers. That's another way that we find uh, easy deals instead of hard deals, uh, because there's always in every neighborhood, something going on. There's divorces, there's deaths, there's transfers. There's always something going on. If you zero in on those particular populations, then you're able to get a very specific kind of seller because in our marketing, we actually say that that's the kind of sellers we can help. So knowing what someone's problem is before you send out your marketing is also very helpful. 